Good day everyone. Today we will answer this algebra challenge and the question goes like this. Given that x squared minus 16 times square root of x equals 12, then our goal is to solve for the value of x minus 2 times square root of x, wherein x is greater than or equal to 0. You can pause this video if you want to give this problem a try. Now, let's answer this question together. Our solution to this question is using our experience in solving this kind of question. But again, there's a lot of way to answer this kind of question. But here's one of them. So first thing to do is to add 16 times square root of x on both sides. Now, what we're going to do is to factor out 4 on the right-hand side, like this. Now, let's focus on this expression, 3 plus 4 times square root of x. What we're going to do here is we need to try to make this expression a perfect square trinomial. So, recall that if we expand square root of x plus 1, this will give us x plus 2 times square root of x plus 1. Notice on the expansion, we have 2 times square root of x, but we want 4 times square root of x. Now, let's see if we replace this 1 by 2. So, if we expand square root of x plus 2 quantity squared, this will give us x plus 4 times square root of x plus 4. Now, we can use this expression or we can use this expansion provided that we have x plus 4 times square root of x plus 4. Now, to make this expression 3 plus 4 times square root of x equal x plus 4 times square root of x plus 4, what we're going to do is to add x plus 1. Now, take note that we have now x plus 4 times square root of x and 3 plus 1 is just 4. But to make it balance, what we're going to do is to add the same thing on the left-hand side. But before that, Let's distribute this 4 to see what we're going to add on the left-hand side. So take note that we need to add 4x plus 4 on the left side to make it balance, like this. Now, let's focus on the right-hand side. Again, let's factor out this 4. Now, 3 plus 1 will give us 4. Then rearrange some terms a little bit. To make it equivalent to x plus 4 times square root of x plus 4. And we know that it is equivalent to square root of x plus 2 quantity squared. Surprisingly, x squared plus 4x plus 4 is equivalent to x plus 2 quantity squared. And also, take note that this 4 is just 2 squared. Now we have all terms that is squared. So what we're going to do is to take the square root on both sides. Now take note that we have two possible answers here. We have positive or a negative. Take note of that. Now on the left hand side, this is just x plus 2. And on the right hand side, this is just positive or negative 2 times square root of x plus 2. Now let's distribute these two. This will give us positive or negative, 2 times square root of x plus 4. Again, we have two possible answers here. We have positive and negative. Now, take note that we want the value of x minus 2 times square root of x. Now, the question is, which equation will give us the value of x minus 2 times square root of x? And the answer is this first equation. Now, take note that the right-hand side is just 2 times square root of x plus 4. Now, if we subtract 2 times square root of x on both sides, this will give us x minus 2 times square root of x. This is what we want. Plus 2 equals 4. Now, to get this expression, what we're going to do is to subtract 2 on both sides. This will give us the value of x minus 2 times square root of x as 2. Therefore, given that x squared minus 16 times square root of x equals 12, 
then the value of x minus 2 times square root of x must be 2. And as always, we are done.